Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I want to do is I want to do a video that has been on my mind for quite some time. Yes, there's going to be a little story. I've got to, I've just got, we got to talk about something first. The reason why I'm doing this video is for many reasons. I've been on many jobs and this has bothered me a little bit. Now, have you ever taken a lid off of a metal box or even a plastic box with no receptacle in it and there's just so many wires jam-packed and you're thinking, my God, was this box even big enough for all this? Well, today I opened the box and as I was opening the box, the wire nuts were not put on what I looked like correctly. And anyway, there was a lot of copper heads in there, not snakes, but you know, just copper heads because the wire nuts weren't on there right. Anyway, the box was overfilled. So I feel like this is a topic that is not taught enough or maybe it is and people are just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how many wires you can physically put in a box, whether it be with a switch, a device, a receptacle, um, whatever, you know, GFI, whatever. Okay. We need to talk about basically how many wires you can legally put in a box because that is important. I'm going to show you the math way, which some of it's already written out here. We're going to go through it pretty extensively. You can skip around. I will leave timestamps down below. So if you don't want to listen to the whole entire story and just you want to just, you know, go on or whatever. So I'm going to show you where to find the cubic inches inside of a box. And we're going to basically, I'm going to draw a receptacle on here with a box, put the wires in it. We're going to do the math, show you guys step by step how to do it. It's really easy. And obviously you could just cheat and look in the book. I think Ugly's book has it too. And I'll tell you about how many wires you can put in there. But Sometimes if you're on the job and you're up in an attic or you're on the ceiling or whatever the case may be and you're waiting for somebody to come and you're trying to think of all things you need to spit down to your helper, hey, get me, you know, D-Box, hey, get me, you know, a 411 by 16 or whatever, Octagon, whatever, you know, then you would already know in your head, oh, I can do this too, blah, 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 and then you can spit down what you need, you know, whether you need an 8 by 8, 12 by 12, whatever, all right? Let's jump right in here and let's talk about this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. We'll talk. We'll start talking super easy, so you guys can easily follow along. It's this is an easy, easy topic to talk about. It's really important that this is so overlooked. Like I mentioned, we just need to talk about this. So let's start. All right. So first of all, let's talk about. Start out by saying that right here is the code that you need to go in your code book and look at. So you guys can follow along if you need to. It's 31416 b. That's where you need to find this at. It's super easy, it's in there. I'm gonna to try to make this so even a two-year-old can understand. All right, so first things first, every wire has a size rating on it. Now, this will all come into play eventually, but they've already had the size right here. So a 16 gauge wire is 1.75, 14 is two, 12 is 2.25, 10 is 2.50, and eight is 3.0. You gotta know, you know, if you're, is your box okay can you put all those wires in it? Yada, yada, yada. Let's start out by putting a box right here. All right, this will be your box. Let's just say that this is a single gang box. Now I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second the box that I'm referencing right here so you guys can get a visual. I'm gonna show you where the cubic inches is stamped inside of the box. So you guys can see it's on every single box will have a cubic inch rating and that's what you need to go and visually see so you know how many wires you can put in there legally without getting in trouble by an inspector or overfilling it and causing potential fire. All right, so here's two different boxes we're going to use. Now, if you look, which you won't be able to probably see in this video, but if you look in the back of your box right here, I don't think I can get it. I don't know if you can see or not, but inside there, there's a rating. This is the box that I drew up here. And that box right there says 20.3 cubic inches. So we're gonna pretend that this box is this right here. And we are going to put what normally you would wire in a house. So you would bring, let's just say we're gonna do a 12 gauge wire. So this is what we're gonna work with right here, all right? So we're putting a 12 gauge wire in here. So we're gonna come in with the 12 gauge. And we're gonna go out with the 12 gauge. All right, that's the first thing we're gonna do. These are internal clamps. So what do you have to do? There's four of them in here. Does that mean you can put four wires in there? Possibly, but let's do the math and figure it out. So after you knock this out, you'll put the wire in here, you'll take the wire out. 
So this will be going to another receptacle. This will be coming from your panel, let's just say. All right, and we know that this is a 20.3 cubic inch box. All right, so now we're done with this box. I'm gonna put it away and we're gonna keep on rolling with it. So we have three wires in a Romex, correct? And we know that the number 12 is rated at 2.25. Now, let's stop here and talk about this. There's six wires total, correct? But we are only going to count the ungrounded current carrying conductors, which is your hot and your neutral. The grounds will be counted as a grounded conductor. And, and these grounds right here, so there's two, will be counted as one wire, even though there's two. So let's count them. We have one, two, three, four. All right, we have four current carrying conductors because we have two hots, two neutrals, one, well, two grounds, which will actually be treated as one. Does that make sense? This is in the code book. You can read this straight out of the code book. So we technically have two, four, five wires. So we have five wires at 2.25. Now, what else do we have to count this box? Well, we know that there's internal clamps in here. So we have to count that as one wire size. So there's now six wires at 2.25. And we're gonna put one receptacle in here because that's what we're gonna use. So let's talk about receptacles. All right, so here's your receptacle. I'm not a very good artist here. That's why I am an electrician. And then we have our next inhaler. All right, so there's our receptacle. Now, let me show you on our receptacle what I'm talking about. So this part of your receptacle right here, this metal part right here, that's called a yoke, all right? That is your yoke. So this is one duplex receptacle. So every device that you use has to be counted as two wire sizes. All right, so now what we got, we have, we had six, right? So we have two more, so now we have eight times 2.25. All right, is that all we have? Yes. Now, we're gonna get into more deeper, this is just the basics right here. I'm gonna dig a little deeper later and tell you about, do you count the wire nets? Do you count, you know, extra wires you put it in there, you know? If this was not this box and it had to put a Romex connector, would you count that? So you need to definitely make sure that you subscribe because you're gonna see this exact demonstration again next week. Soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna do another video to explain a little bit more in depth. So definitely check next week to see the rest of this. Now, let's keep on rolling with this. All right, so we have eight total wires now, right? One, two, three, four, four current carrying conductors, all right? One, two grounds, which is right there. So two, two neutrals, two plus two plus one is five. The six is for your internal clamps, which is clamps that look like this on a plastic box, or they could look like this on a plastic box, as you see. All right, and then two wire sizes for the yoke. Now, if there was two receptacles in here, that would be four. And then if there was three receptacles in there, it would be six, so on and so forth. So this is our math. So we have to do eight times 2.25, and that equals 18. So that's our number, 18 cubic inches. Now, this is how much this box will allow, 20.3 cubic inches. We have, well, that's a terrible, I'm a terrible writer also. Anyway, 
All this equals 18 cubic inches, so you definitely will have enough space. Now, let's take this one step further. We'll use the same box, all right? We'll use this same setup here. We have one device. Let's go ahead and erase this. And let's assume we have another Romex cable coming out, all in 12 gauge. So this is 12 2, this is 12 2, and this is 12 2. All right, now, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six current carrying conductors, three hots, and three neutrals, and we have another ground, but we're only counting that ground as one. So we still have three, three, and one. All right, so let's change this around to, let's change these wires out, this out. So now we have three, six, seven wires total. We still have our internal clamps as one, and we have the device as two more. So now what do we have? Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 times 2.25, and that equals 22.5. Now, what happens here? We're in trouble because this box here is not big enough. We need a 22.5 cubic inch box. Could you put those wires in there? Absolutely, we know we could. By code, can you? No. I've seen so many wires piled in these boxes. It bothers me when I open a box and I see so many wires piled in here. And then there you are. I mean, you know, that it's terrible. It's truly terrible. And you're only hurting yourself in the long run because if somebody comes behind you and says, who, who did this work? And you're like, oh, Bob Smith did. <laughs> well, that guy should not be doing electrical work. And then that word of mouth goes on and on and on. Plus, you're risking a lot, you know. A lot of heat gets built up in there, you know, possible fire. It could be anything, all right? You just don't want that to happen. So this is the easy demonstration. Like I said, we're gonna talk more in depth about this right here. Tune in next week. If you guys need to know this, this is important. All right, guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.